Oh, hey guys, Red Girl at Army Girl, and um, I'm gonna try to explain a concern that a viewer had about hollow base bullets and black powder, and his concern is an air pocket that can cause an explosion. Which is a legit concern, because in black powder, if you have too big of an airspace, boom, you got a problem. But, we'll take the Civil War style menu ball. Or as we call it down here in the south, the mini bowl. This is a 58 caliber one, Civil War style. It was designed to be smaller than the bore diameter, so it could be loaded fast down a muzzle loading barrel. And what happens is, is the gases. Fill that skirt out and blow it out to bore diameter so it can engage the rifling, which made a pretty accurate combination. In the 1870s, around 1873, well, late 1872, it was adopted in 1873. The original Trapdoor Springfield load was a 405 grain round nose hollow base bullet over 70 grains of black powder. The carbine load was the same but 55 grains of black powder. With a 70 grain load, I'm going to show you So I'm going to try to replicate this by hand. I may not can get enough pressure. This has, uh, I believe it's 3F. Yeah, 3F black powder. In it. It's a little bit too fine to really show it on the 58th menu ball. But when you sink the ball, the bullet, all the way down on the powder, it actually fills that space up so you don't have to worry about your air gap in your um basically a big bulge from an explosion in your barrel the pressure and going down in the air being pressed out pushes the powder up into the base into the hollow base so what about the reduce load the carbine load they usually filled it with cornmeal or wheat, cream of wheat, which has the same effect. You put a small car over the card wide between the powder and um, cornmeal or cor cream of wheat. You press, you seat your bullet down on top of it nice and tight. It has the same effect. It fills the the um hollow base. I'm having brain farts here. <laughs> More modern day or plain base or flat base. This is another forty five seventy bullet. I believe this one's um three hundred grains, if I remember right. And you don't these are more made to 
modern specs. Because here's something a lot of people don't know. Some of you diehard black powder shooters know it. But a lot of people don't know them. Your older black powder rifles, even the cartridge ones, they were overbore a bit. And what I mean by this type of overbore, like the Springfield 1860, the 1873 Springfield, the bore was typically 460 in diameter, and you're shooting 458 and 459 caliber bullets. They had to bump up. And that's what that does on these. It opens that skirt just enough to fill that bore diameter. And why they did that is because they're still, even though it's a cartridge rifle, they're still firing black powder rounds. And black powder, it fouls up very quickly. And with it being... 460, 461, firing a 458, 459 caliber bullet. It allows you to get off 40 to 60 shots before you really started having a lot of jamming problems, which in theory it worked. Um, in practice it kind of worked on the grade of powder and the type of cartridge you were shooting. Like Custer's men were shooting a copper like cartridge um, and it was an epic failure. It would it would blow it out. See, when the cartridge goes off in the chamber, it stretches, it flares out to fill that chamber, and then it'll come that, back down just a little bit so you can extract it. That's a brass cartridge, modern-day brass. Um, when I use this copper foil type of cartridge, it expanded out, and it wouldn't retract. So they were... Getting a lot of jams. Custer's men got slaughtered. And, uh, and partially it could have been due to the black powder, too. I mean, you're firing a lot, even with a hollow base bullet. Eventually, the, the bore, the chamber, is going to start to gum up. Sorry for the ramble, and just... Food for thought. And, um, yeah, so as long as you get your powder level up enough that you can sink the bullet down firmly on the powder, it'll fill that hollow base and you're fine. If you're gonna do reduce loads, use cornmeal or cream of wheat. This is a regular old army girl out.